Hello everyone, welcome back for a new strategies video. Today we are making the third tutorial of beginner level of Stratego. So we have so far seen um, the setup and the three square rule. We will now focus on the more square rule, which is a second rule extremely important, which can save a lot of game and that you need to master in order to play extremely well at Stratego. So let's make this simple situation, right? Um, where our general is in front of the marshal, so if we start moving, well, um, we are losing on the three square rule, right? So let's see how can we save our general, right? So let's suppose the marshal is coming here. Well, the first option could be to move here, he moves down, we move down, he moves here. So of course if we have the spy here, we win and that's perfectly fine. If we don't, we have to come back, he comes back, we come back, he comes back. And as we started, we can't um, come back because we started the three square rule on this position. And now, as blue, he can... Um, okay, well, we have to move something else, so let's say we have a corner here. He can take it, so of course he may not take it because uh, there may be a um, spy in two locations. But if we don't, we are losing the general. So how can we avoid losing the general? Well, let's move this. Again, we have our general, Marshall, we have our general. Another option. Okay, so, oh well. Uh, okay, that sounds <laughs> something, something else, sorry for that. So, we move back, we move here. We move here again. It could be the same, right? Three, three. We can't come back anymore, so we are forced to move something else, and he may attack. Let's say he doesn't attack, so we move this. The option to avoid the three square rule is to play on the more square rule, so at least three different squares. So you must not confuse. The three square rules concerns two squares. The more square rules like, refers to at least three squares. So in this way, when we play on three squares, he can't follow us endlessly. So at a certain point, it will not be loaded. I don't know if it is implemented on this. Uh, okay, it's not. But on the more square rule, sooner or later, the marshal can't come back anymore, and therefore, we are saved as we are again in diagonal. I think it happens three times again on the same three squares. So the point is of the more square rule is if there is a repetitive pattern, right? It could be exactly the same if let's say we have a corner, two corners or two pieces going around the lake endlessly. Okay. Again, if it's repetitive, sooner or later it has to stop. So that's the basic of Stratego. So, as a summary, this video is extremely short. What we want to do with the three square rule is guarantee for our strong pieces to have at least three squares. So in this case, A3, B3, and C3 to move in case we are not sure about who is the marshal. So we can, um, even if we fail with the two square rule, we can still have the more square rule to save us and to go um, next to other pieces, pretending this one, this one, this one, or this one, or even this one, to be the spy and therefore like make our opponent less confident to, um, uh, to risk his margin. Of course, the, the inconvenient, like this, Mastering the three, square, the three square rule is much more better because we keep the position. With the more square rule, we are losing one square position. Therefore, now on this A lane, A column, our opponent can easily come with other pieces and try to attack and reach our back row from here. So that's something we are not really happy with, but at least our general is saved. So let's make a sort of recap of priority, the first step is to put your piece in diagonal of what you fear or you know to be the strong piece. If you can't for whatever reason 
then you need to make sure as a B plane to have three at least three squares so that you can move easily and save your strong piece. It will make you lose um, position, but at least you save the piece of interest. Right, this is all for the more square rule. Uh, again, it's important to combine it together with the three square rule. And if you understand these two concepts, you are on the really good way to become an extremely strong strategic player. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon for the next tutorial.